Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon. And when last we left off, we were previously in that area over there, with a stairway leading up and a doorway that I couldn't get open. I imagine I have to pry that doorway open using brute strength. But there is this area over here that I failed to get through the first time round. Rune died during that process. I'm going to try again, but this time, I'm going to do some buffing, and I'm going to use spells that I haven't used yet, like Haste, I prepared these in advance, and Prayer, I used that uh, in the first game, but I haven't really used it yet, and Invisibility 10 feet, which means that provided the people here do not make a hostile action, they will not appear visible, and that should help us get through if there are any monsters on the other side. I'm also going to cast Lightning Bolt with Amber if there are enemies. Not Rune, because Rune is likely to be knocked unconscious by these lightning pads. So without further ado, let us very carefully step forward and nobody is unconscious, which is good. Any enemies over here? Yes, time to cast that and quickly move forward. Nobody is dead, but Lilantha is currently unconscious, and I'm in some bother because uh, that's not good. Let's have you move over here as Calandra literally fights for her life, and Sandstar goes to help because we're going to need. Oh dear, we're in some bother now. Lightning bolt time! And that did it. Is everyone alright? I am alright. What about you, Amber? I'm hurt, but I'll be fine. What about Lilanva? Fortunately, I was able to drag her away from the lightning pad. Calandra and Valendra aren't doing so well. We're going to have to wait for Lilanva to regain consciousness. I don't think we're going to be able to wait that long. A potion should help. We can't feed her a potion because she's unconscious. Oh. Hopefully she will recuperate in time. We'll have to take this key and uh, hold on to it until then. I'll take my rocks back. That was very precarious. It reminded me way too much of fighting that Mind Flayer. You never did tell us exactly what happened during that. Just know that I fought bravely to save all of you. And I appreciate it. Let's do some resting. And Valendra, I think, is conscious. There we go. Is everyone all right? Uh, you need to bring Lilanva back. She's still unconscious. It's done. Are you okay, sister? I'm fine, Valendra. What happened? You were knocked unconscious during the encounter. I'm just glad that nobody died. And I'm glad the plan worked. It was a good plan. It was a very dangerous plan, though, Rune. It could have failed terribly. When you're in the line of work that we're in, Amber, you have to take risks sometimes. Otherwise, you'll never progress. And sometimes those risks are foolish ones, if I've learned anything about our adventures. But you do have to do it. We're all okay, so let's move on. I hope there's a way we can get past this, though. This is one way. Maybe there's some sort of switch or mechanic that will turn this off. We can only hope. Let's keep exploring. The sooner we explore here, the sooner we can figure out how to get back. I wonder what that did. What about the trap? Ah, the trap has been turned off. Excellent. Now we can safely get through. Lead on, Valendra. And keep your wits about you, everyone. There could be more of those Mantis warriors. And it's a good thing that we can get past this again without getting hurt, because... I don't want to go through that backwards. We would inevitably die. Let's go into here and see if we can find anything of any importance that would make coming here worth it. The answer is... We found a longsword! The Longsword Hunger. That sounds like a cursed item if ever I've seen it, but... We'll hold judgement until we've actually identified it. We'll do that once we've uh, explored this area fully. There's nothing down here, but there is a pair of uh, plaques, it would seem. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hmm. What can be trusted? Well, who's going to put something into this? Should we really be doing that? Probably not, but the signs are saying that we should 
take a risk. Remember what I was just saying, we have to take risks in our line of work. Does anyone have anything that we don't want to hold on to? What about this dagger that I picked up from those mantis warriors? Is it magical? I'll have a look. It is entirely non-magical. You may put that in there at your own risk. Well, well, look what we have here. It looks like a magical wand of some variety. So, we could in fact trust that. But let's not trust it again. It'll probably explode or something. A wise sentiment. We should be very careful. And very careful we will be, as we head back the way we came. Do we need a key to unlock this? We'll find out! Sandstar, do your thing! Aha! We are in! And let's have a look over here. There is nothing but a switch and an empty room. So, we'll open this, I imagine. Yep, and in here is a single one of these eggs that contains one mantis that we're going to deal with as quickly as we can. And you have been held, but that's okay, because we can remove paralysis, and because that's not an offensive spell, Lilantha is still invisible. Let us rest a bit more, shall we? But before we do that, actually, uh, I need to change what spells we have memorized, because I want to identify everything that we have that we haven't identified yet, and by everything I also mean the dust that we have here. We don't know what that magical dust does. It could be bad. So let us have a look at all of them. But of course we will start with the uh, things that we know are magical in some variety and that might be useful, like the Longsword Hunger. Mm, let's see. Okay, this is a cursed item. We've been finding a lot of them. Let's get rid of this. It is a minus two cursed longsword. You don't need to identify a cursed item if you equip it and you find out that it's cursed. Good to know. So that is a cursed item. What about all of these um, piles of dust that we have? You don't have any. You don't have any. You have some. Let's see if we can identify this. This is just magic dust. Okay, we're not going to be able to do anything with that, are we? But there is one item that we can get, and that item is over here. Fortunately, there is a route that will let us go back to here. There's this axe over here that I'm going to risk getting. Does mean stepping on this. Hopefully it'll be worth it. Is it a magical axe? Also, that is still there, so we're going to have to risk a harm once more to get over to there. Also, might as well put these keys over here. We might not actually need them. So, let us put this axe here and see if it is cursed. The answer is yes. The item is cursed. Let's hold on to it, maybe? It might be useful to weigh down a pressure plate or something. But for now, I think we're going to uh, switch our spells back downstairs. Probably better we do is downstairs, then again there might be enemies down here, and that wouldn't be good. But there may be enemies that respawn upstairs as well. I'm going to switch out uh, the improved invisibility and my lightning bolts for fireballs, and I'm going to have you, Amber, have one hold a person and one lightning bolt. You never know when lightning bolt might be useful. Time to rest. Recuperate and get ready to go through one more of those lightning pad thingies. They are indeed dangerous, and I don't want to uh, take any risks with them at all, even if that means resting for three to four days. Having a second cleric would make this a lot faster. But I think I have a pretty good party as it is. And somebody asked if I can put rocks in the quiver. No. No you can't. Let us uh, swap these back. Head back upstairs, and get ready to move to the next floor. After, of course, we go through more zappy lightning. I'd have hoped that they'd have turned that one off with the switch to... Ah, it's okay, it's only one. We can quite capably deal with one. But we need to rest again. Hopefully Kelvin didn't want us to do this quickly. 
I'm sure we'll be just in time. I hope. A few days pass, and the party is ready to go once again. Also, I'm quite happy about the fact that, uh, when you're resting, hunger really doesn't go down that quickly. Also, I want you to be visible again. We will, uh, try and prime this open. No, no, yes, we have succeeded. And what's in here? Another one of those mouths. Well, let's see what it has to say. Of the bones, you need three. Together, they are key. Do we have any spare bones lying around? I have these bones from that level where we couldn't sleep. Shall we give those a try? Let's give them a go, Lelanva. Seem to be working. And a third one. You have made me very happy. Now I reward you with the key. We have a key made of bone. Another one. I'll hold on to that. Let's keep going. And so, we continue our search, and there's only one way we can really go, and that's up. I'm going to save here, because saving is always a good idea. This here is the uh, save I had for, uh, being about to go through that trap. And so, up we go. To the next floor. What lies up here? But Doom? Hmm. There's an area over here with another one of these locks. Can we open it? No, we can't. But I bet we could open it with one of these keys. Do we want to open it with one of these keys? Let's find out. Maybe. I do not like how quiet it is down here. It's way too quiet. There may be a trap behind us for all we know. Oh, that's not good. Let's go the other way first. That is a pressure plate, and that probably means bad news. What about over here? Nothing. Oh, well, that's not good. That is a giant hornet of some variety. And do you? No, you don't have that much health, which is good, but there are lots of you. And I imagine you can be four to a square, and you attack really quickly. Really quickly. Do you respawn quickly as well? If it wasn't giant ants, it's giant wasps. I hate giant wasps. We should be careful, then. They could surround us. Let's explore as quickly as we... Oh, dear. That's a lot of giant wasps over there. And it looks like they're... Can we destroy these, uh, these nests here? Let's find out. No, we can do nothing to them. So we're just going to have to be very careful and kill as many of these as we can really quickly. Are you going to... Yep, you're going to follow. But you can't actually uh, do a lot to... Oh, you've been paralyzed. So they can paralyze um, party members. Let's be mindful of that and keep exploring very quickly. Anything down here that's worth finding? They move really fast. If I... There's something over there. If I ready a lightning bolt, this could be interesting. And by ready, I mean don't cast. That was silly. Forward and back. Fireball! That certainly did something. We have also attracted the attention of all the other giant wasps that are here. We probably do not want to stay in this area for very long. Also, that sound is quite high-pitched. There are more of them here? Can I avoid encountering you? Probably not, in which case... Fireball time! Aha! That'll help! You don't seem that bothered about, uh, coming to get us. So we'll take this Potion of Cure Poison? This Femur? Do we need it? I don't know. And a Copper Key. And you know what? We'll just deal with you using Magic Missiles. They'll hit! 
That'll probably... Nope, you do not seem bothered about coming to get us. That works for me, because we can slowly whittle you down. There is a crack in the wall there. Hmm, anything about this? There appears to be movement off in the wasp... Oh, it's a nest. It is a nest. Let us get out of here as quickly as we can. I fear we may not be able to go this way. Let's quickly... Oh dear, there are lots of them. There are loads of them. Right. Haste time. We need to be able to deal with these right now. And I think a magic missile or two cannot hurt. This is bad. The sooner we get out of here, the sooner we'll be safe. Do I even want to go this way out? I don't know. They don't appear to be able to hit us that much, probably because our armor class is ridiculously high. But even so, let's just get out of here right now. Good idea! Let's not go back to the area full of giant wasps, and instead, we'll change our spells up. Because we do not want improved identify. Blur might be useful. Melf's Acid Arrow, and Ice Storm and Fear. There we go. And we'll rest. We can rest here quite safely, which means we have to go the other way right now. Hmm. Only one option, and it is this way. Let's go and see what that pressure plate does, shall we? Probably gets us killed. I don't know. I don't know what that does. Faith is the key. Hmm. Faith is the key. I don't know what that does. Anything we can use to weigh it down? We could use this axe that we're not using. It doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Faith is the key. Do we just use all the switches? I do not know. We could try. That appears to have done it? No, wait, no it hasn't. That appears to have just opened up that one. Ah. Do we go to the next one, maybe? It's worth a go. Hmm. Now to this one? Ah! We're through! Brilliant. That seems to have worked. Let's keep going. I do not like where this is headed. I do not like where it is headed either. Also, we cannot get through this door. Hmm. Is there something we're missing here? No. Got through here, and that resets the puzzle. Oh! Oh, this is going to be something where we have to use all of the switches to get to certain locations, and... Hmm... So that opens this one. That one... This one? So that opens the first door, the second door, and the third door. But the fourth door is still... Stuck. Right. So if I start in this corner, like that, over here, over here, can't use any of the other ones, and that one is still stuck. Right. So, if I start here, Then here? Okay, that means that I can't use those two. Hmm. That's not going to get me through at all. Nope, that's not going to get me through. Right. This is a press the switches in the right order kind of puzzle. And when we come back, folks, I will figure out the solution to it. Faith is indeed the key.
but I don't know what that means. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. At least there aren't loads of giant wasps trying to kill us, eh? Ha <laughs> ha, they're probably still going to try and kill us. They're probably following us right now. The sooner we finish this puzzle, the better, eh? We need to finish this quickly, or else the wasps will get us. Later.